everyone, welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic week. I feel so good to be in front of the camera. I posted a vlog this week, but I didn't do an actual video, you know, like a makeup video. So I feel really good being in front of the camera again. So today is typically my weekly favorites, but I saw Jaclyn Hill do a ride or die favorites tag. She kind of made it into a tag. So I decided to do that instead of weekly favorites. So basically it's like my ride or die, my all time of life favorites. And I did this a while back. I want to say like a year ago. It was called favorites of life. I think I will link it below in the description box. It was a really fun video. Um, I didn't, honestly, I didn't go back and see, like, if these products were my favorites back then, but I know that some of them have changed, and a couple of them I know have stayed the same, but you guys know as you as you get older or as you kind of go through makeup stages and phases and trends, your, your favorites change, you know? That's why I love to do a weekly top seven favorites because I'm always trying new things. I'm always finding new favorites. I'm always finding old favorites that I find the love for again, you know? So I wanted to do this video. I thought it was a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I have all of my products right here and I'm just going to start with, I guess, the way I would apply them to my face. And I'll tell you guys the ones that I had kind of a hard time on. So for primer, um, I really typically use two primers. I know it's super high maintenance, but I usually use a hydrating primer and then I will fill in just the center of my face where I have bigger pores and with like a pore filling primer. But if I had to pick one, I would just pick the hydrating primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX. This is actually my only tube I've ever had, but I'm almost out of it. It's really, really good. I find that I use this a lot in the winter time, but I also like it for the summer because it's super hydrating. It has coconut water, electrolytes, probiotics, all of that good stuff in it but it does, it's not heavy. A lot of times if I'm wearing a super hydrating primer, it feels kind of heavy on the skin and this is not. I also like that it comes with a pump. I mean, it's just a really, really good primer. And I find that whenever my face is broken out, because a primer is kind of the first thing you put on your face, I find that some of them break me out even more or irritate my breakouts and this does not. This is really good for sensitive skin. So love that. And then um, for my foundation, this is kind of a new find. I did do a whole entire review video on this, like a wear test, a review, all that. But it's the EX1 Invisaware Liquid Foundation. That's the foundation I have on today. Mine is in the color F my goodness, F100, which I believe is the lightest or second lightest shade. And that's the only drawback to this is if you're super porcelain, I don't think you'll find a shade. Also, if you're super dark, I don't know if you can find a shade. It seems like this is kind of for the light to medium range, but it is olive tone. Or So if you have like olive undertones, this will be really good for you. Even like yellow undertones, if you're super pink, they don't have a lot of on the pink side, you know, but definitely check it out. I love this. It comes with a pump. It's not expensive. I mean, it's like, I don't know, $15 ish. And uh, you do have to buy it online though, but I definitely think that this is my ride or die foundation. It is a semi matte finish, but it looks like skin. And that's why I love it the most. It's called Invisaware. And I think it's because it's almost invisible on the skin, but it gives you coverage. So my favorite way to apply it is a beauty blender. Okay, so for um, concealer, it's the MAC Pro Longwear. I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin, but I haven't had that one in like a year. And this is one that I always repurchase. Um, you know, I go through phases with concealers because they're always coming out with a new concealer right now. I'm loving the Too Faced Born this way, but I always go back to MAC Pro Longwear. So that was definitely my pick for concealer. And then for setting powder, this was one I kind of had a hard time. I love the La Mer setting powder. I love the RCMA setting powder, but if I had to choose, honestly, for under eye setting and setting my whole face, 
I would pick the Gourmand Meteorites. I use the color Claire, which is almost translucent, but it has a hint of pink to it to where it really brightens up under your eyes. I have that on under my eyes today. It really helps concealers to not crease as bad. It's very finely milled. It's actually little, like little balls. I don't know if you can see it, but they break up into powders. It's just a beautiful finishing powder and I like to set my face with that. So that's what I picked for setting powder. So for bronzer, I kind of had a hard time because I do go back and forth with my bronzers. I change them up pretty frequently, but I, if I found this one this year actually, and it is so amazing. I don't think I'll ever be without this bronzer. It's the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. The only thing I'll say about this is this is the medium shade. It's just called bronzer. They have a light bronzer, but they don't have a dark. So I wish Physicians Formula would come out with a dark. However, it does build surprisingly well. So if you haven't tried it because you think it's a little bit too light for you, it does build pretty well. So keep that in mind. I just, I love this. I took this on vacation for a week and a half. I've worn this so much this summer. That's the bronzer. Everything I'm mentioning I have on my face. It smells delicious. It's just, it's an easy go-to product because you can put it on super quick, almost messy, and you can't mess it up. A lot of times with bronzers, I tend to go crazy and look a fool. This is one where you really can't mess it up. So I definitely love that. And then for blush, I hate to mention this, but I would be lying if I said my favorite blush of all time was anything other than Chanel's Accent Blush. The reason I hate to mention it is because it was limited edition, but if you did get it, this will remind you to pull it out because it's bomb.com. If you didn't, a lot of times Chanel will relaunch products. So also Chanel Jersey is pretty similar to Accent. Accent is just so unique. It's almost like a lavender gray, it's just beautiful. Funny story is Brad picked this out. I didn't even pick this out. And it is my favorite blush ever of life. And I highly recommend it. And then for highlighter is ColourPop Smoke and Whistles. I have talked about this forever. My favorite highlighter used to be Laura Mercier Highlight 01. But um, this one's a little bit papau. And I really like a super highlighted look. I haven't always. But recently, in the past six months or so, I've just loved a really poppin' highlight. I got it all up over my face right now. This is just so beautiful. Best part, it's like five or six dollars. The formula is different. I use I, I usually apply it with a beauty blender, which works really, really well. You can apply it with your fingers. It's kind of like a cream to powder finish, which is why I say it's a little bit different. But it lasts on your cheeks forever. It's beautiful and I highly recommend it. Okay, so this next one is probably the newest to me that's my favorite all time. And I usually don't have a favorite brow product, but the Milk Makeup Gel Brow in the, in the color Pilsner, this is a little sample, deluxe sample I got. You guys have to get this. It is a gel pencil that you sharpen, and the texture is almost super waxy, almost to where I wouldn't like it normally, but it makes it to where I don't have to have a two-step process. I don't have to do an eyebrow pencil and then set it with a gel because this keeps my brows in place. It's what I have on today. It's beautiful. It's, it's another product where you really can't mess it up. You kind of have to layer it and build it because upon first application, it goes on pretty sheer, but I like that. You know, it's a real, it's one that you can wear every day and look natural, or you can really carve out your brows. And I, I just love it. I love it. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I'm not sure why. I haven't tried much from Milk Makeup, but this I have tried and I'm obsessed with. I will be buying the full size. And the full size is like $18 or $19, which like I say is or black as if that's a high-end product but the fact that you don't have to wear a gel on top of it makes it worth it to me okay so let's talk about an eyeshadow palette i didn't know and jacqueline hill didn't really specify if we were supposed to do 
one single eyeshadow or an eyeshadow palette, but this eyeshadow palette is my favorite that I have ever tried. You guys need it in your life. It is so buttery. It's so easy to work with. It's just an everyday staple palette for me. I have not mentioned it in the past few weekly favorites because I feel like it would get redundant because I love it so much I would be mentioning it every week. It is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. It is the most beautiful palette that I have ever seen. I am blown away by the quality of these eyeshadows. It is just so, this is my first Anastasia palette that I've ever had, and it is so amazing to me, the formula. Just it's so pigmented, but they blend so beautifully. Like you can create so many looks. I know it looks really super warm, but in reality, it does have some taupiness going on up in these shades right here. It's just so stunning. Actually, this cream shadow in tempera is something I use on my brows every day. I put it in my inner corner a lot of times. Heck, sometimes I even use it to kind of set my concealer and brighten up my under eyes. It's just, it's so beautiful, you guys. If you have been on the fence with this palette, I highly recommend it. I love it so much. I recommend it to everyone. It's amazing. You need it in your life. And then um, I picked a mascara which I hate it when beauty bloggers go on and on about mascara and they have false lashes on. Like me today. I know. Um, but I do love this mascara on its own. If you've watched my past few videos, that's, you know, this is the mascara I'm wearing without false lashes. I just felt a little fancy today. Um, but this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara which is new for me because I typically don't prefer a waterproof mascara, but I've been finding recently that waterproof mascaras really hold my curl all day long, and I really prefer that. Now, used to my favorite mascara was Chanel, Le Volume de Chanel, and they have a waterproof version now. I haven't tried it yet. I'm super interested to try it because I love that formula already, but I got this at the beginning of the summer or a, like probably a month or two ago and I love it so much. I wasn't even the hugest fan of the original Better Than Sex Mascara in the pink tube. I have since, I bought the little Sephora Favorites kit and it has the pink one in it and I do like it. You know, I, I just think that we evolve and we change our taste. I mean, I liked it before, but I wasn't obsessed. I'm obsessed with the waterproof though. You guys need to try it if you haven't. I think there was a lot of mixed reviews. Just like everything in life, in makeup, in tastes, you know, we all need or want different things from products. But for me, this works amazing and it's very buildable. It doesn't flake. It's waterproof. Lord knows I cry all the time. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm excited, when I'm mad. So I need a waterproof mascara, girl, and I really like that one. Okay, so for lipstick, I wasn't really sure how I was going to do this, but I just picked my favorite lip combo, and that's what I'm wearing today. Um, Jordana's Tawny. You guys, I saw my best friend Leslie talk about this on her channel, tell me about it, I think she even wrote a blog post about it for so long, literally for like a year until I finally picked it up and I totally see why she loves it so much. It's just that perfect everyday shade. You can wear it with a nude like I am today. You can wear it with a berry. You can wear it with a pink. You can wear it with a coral. It's just one that kind of works with everything. It's retractable, which I love in pencils because I can never find my pencil sharpener. Um, and it's like $2.50 or something. It's really cheap. Jordana is sold on their website. And also at my Walgreens, the Jordana section is by the makeup cashier. It's not on the on the aisle with all the makeup, but it's over there by the register, by the makeup register. So if you've been, because it took me a while to figure out where I could find Jordana in Walgreens, but I finally figured it out. But definitely love this lip liner. And then my favorite lipstick ever right now, my ride or die, is this one by Laura Mercier. It's called Amaretto Swirl. It's the lip parfait. It is the most beautiful, creamy goodness ever. 
I love it so much. Like, I need to look in the mirror. I don't even know how to explain it except for that. It's absolutely perfect. It is my perfect nude lip. You know, with tawny, kind of darker on the outside, and then amaretto swirl in the middle. It is so beautiful. The formula of these lip parfaits is bar none. I don't see why people don't talk about these that much. They're not the longest lasting, but they're long, la longer lasting than, say, the YSL lipsticks. Um, I mean, I think they're better than the NARS Audacious lipsticks. Yes, I did just say that. The formula is so nice, especially if you're someone who has dry lips like me. It's almost like the formula of a chapstick. It feels so moisturizing and hydrating. Obviously, I don't have a gloss on, so obviously it's not a matte finish. It's more of like a satin finish, but it is just so beautiful. I highly recommend it. That's another one. These two products right here, the Anastasia palette and this lipstick, I have recommended to like my friends, my family, everybody, you know, everybody on my Facebook. Like when people ask me what eyeshadow palette or what lipstick, this is what I recommend. These are like my ride or dies for sure. I love them both. So that is it. I know this was a little bit longer than my typical Friday videos. I hope you guys don't mind. Let me know below what your ride or die favorites are. I'm going to tag some people. But I always say this in tag videos. If I don't tag you and you do this video, please tell me below. Or if you don't make videos and you still want to show me like your ride or die favorites, tag me on Instagram. Send me a Snapchat. You know, post it on my Facebook. Like anything. I always want to know what you guys love too. Like I love what I'm a YouTube watcher, so I like watching videos myself, but I'm more like seeing what my subscribers like because, you know, y'all give me such good recommendations. So that is it. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.